Hi, this is Brad, and I'm going to try to trim Dodie's nails. Now, Dodie, as you may see, is an umbrella cockatoo. She's about eight years old. She used to hate having her nails trimmed. Now she usually kind of likes it, but um, I don't know if she will this time. In fact, I think I'll get a little closer to the camera. You say hello, Dodie. Say hi, hi. So she may try to fly away. I don't know. But let's give it a shot. So what I usually use is, uh, this is for, I guess, dogs and cats, this trimmer. It's not too loud. Um, you might want to, sometimes I do it in the bathroom with the door shut because she can't really fly away if she wants to. And then I just use a little file and I just kind of take the edge off. If you go to a vet or something like that, they may, um, come here, Dodie. You may, they may take a lot more off. For her, I just kind of take the point off. So you can see, you know, she's pretty good usually. Um, she used to fight me like crazy, but now, you know, she, I don't know if she likes it or she just kind of accepts it, but... Uh, I don't know how much of her nail you can see. They're not too bad, but they're just getting a little bit long right there. So we're going to go ahead, and I don't know if I'll video the whole process, but you can kind of see I just go real real slowly. Now, you got to be careful not to take too much off. Um, you know, it's better to do too little than too much, because if you do too much, um, it's going to bleed, and, and it's actually bad news sometimes for these birds when they start bleeding. you They can lose a lot of blood, and that's not good for them. And you can see she's pretty mellow, so we'll just do a little bit off of this one again. I don't, I'm not going to do like, you know, much at all. I'm just taking the edge off. And you can kind of see um, that spins. This thing recharges with USB. You can get these things on Amazon. And again, they're pretty quiet, so it doesn't really scare her too much. So we'll just take some off. And uh, some birds might really fight you. And, you know, there are some birds where you might have to put them in a towel and take them to the vet and do all this stuff. Come here, Dodie. Now she's thinking about, can I run? Can I get away? But uh, she's being good so far. Take a little bit of the edge off of this one here. Maybe I'll just do one foot, and then I'll do the other one off camera. So, so it just takes it down very slowly, as you can see. You also could use this side, but I prefer just to use this little side with the notch in it. So that's number two of four. And if you didn't know, by the way, what differentiates uh, parrots from other birds is they have two forward toes and two back toes. Birds in the parrot family, if you look at a pigeon or something, you'll see it's three and one, three forward, one back. So let's just take a little off of right here. Not too much. We're just going to take the edge off. And again, you know, I do know, I do see people that use those clippers. And if you really know what you're doing, that's probably fine. And you're going to get it a lot uh, lower than I will. But... Um, Again, I'm not really looking to do that. She's getting a little bit antsy. Come on, Dodie, you're okay. No, don't lick it. Come on. And give me this toe. Yes, that toe. See, she's pretty good, you can see. She's a good girl most of the time. And we'll just take a little bit of the edge off of this. Not too much. And then once that's done, what I usually do is turn this off. And I give it a little bit of a file. Now here's my, you know, I just use like for your nails or whatever. This is, see it's half trash, but this is just kind of an emery board. And I just give it a few little strokes just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. All right. What do you think, Dodie? You feeling okay there? Yeah, you like that? So that's not bad. I could take off a little more, but again, I'm not trying to do too much today. Um, we'll go with this one. Take a little of the edge off, not too much, remember. That's pretty good, that feels pretty dull. And then we'll go to this toe. I feel like when you're a kid you have this little piggy goes to market. Take some off of there. Now your bird, you know, some birds are not gonna tolerate this. Um, what's going on, you getting antsy? Some birds, yeah? Okay, well, let's go with this one then. How's that? Some birds, like, like she hated it at first, and, and now she kind of likes it. She just kind of accepts it, and um, I can handle her pretty pretty easily. Now, again, if they start getting a little antsy, what's wrong? That doesn't, that doesn't hurt. Come on, don't be a sissy. Now, I'm not going to do this other foot now, but what I usually do is I just kind of put her foot down, and I gently bring the other foot up, and now you can see I, I can get her in a comfortable position. And I'll probably do this off the camera. Well, maybe I'll just do it on. So this this toe is getting really pointed. So I'm just going to take that off. Try to do it kind of quickly. Because I've already been on here almost five minutes. We won't do a real thorough uh, trimming here, but just a little bit of one. You can see that notch. I kind of bring it, that toenail, sort of flattish against the notch. Um, let's move on to the next one. 
Again, not too much, just take that point off and maybe take a little bit of the size off. You can't see it on camera probably, but there's a little bit of dust. And again, these things are real handy and they're not very expensive either on Amazon. I might even provide a link uh, if I put this up on YouTube to the Amazon. You know, it be might not be the same brand, but they're all made in China. I think there's about 5,000 different names for these things. They just slap a different name on it. So we'll take a little bit off of this one. You hanging in there, Dodie? Doing okay? Yeah? And then uh, this last one is not too bad, but we'll go ahead and take a little off of that. Just get the point off and maybe, you know, I take it down maybe a, an eighth of an inch or something, if that. Sometimes I take it off a little bit more, but you do want to keep their nails trimmed for, for several different reasons. What do you think, huh? Is that bad? You getting a little pedicure? You happy? Yeah? Okay, well, here you go. Actually, I'm blocking your face. You're, you're the star of the show. I don't want to block your face with my hand. And um, I think that's pretty close. Let me just kind of feel these. That's not bad. Now, I'm going to turn this off, and we will just take the emery board. You want to bite it? You don't want to bite it, do you? No? Nope. You don't want to bite it? Okay. We'll take the emery board, and I, I hold the nail usually just to kind of give it, rather than hold their, their, their toe, you know, hold the nail and give it kind of a firm grasp. Now, again, not every bird's going to let you do this. So, you know, if you really have a hard time, it, she was bad at first. She's just getting kind of used to it now. So uh, your bird may get used to it or it may not. And But I'd rather do it myself than take her. It's great to take them to a vet, especially an avian specialist, which is what I recommend. Uh, we have a really good one here in San Diego, Dr. Jenkins, Dr. Exotic. You can Google him if you're interested. But um, And they can do that too. And they'll actually do a more thorough job. But, you know, I think the bird is a little more scared around a vet or a stranger. I mean, they, they're certainly better at this stuff than I am. But I think usually your bird is going to feel more comfortable with you. Uh-oh, you getting antsy? Come on now. Come on now. You're almost done. You're almost through it. I know it's torture, but your nails are going to be better. They're going to be real nice. We could paint them if you want. And we actually can't do that. Don't paint your bird's nails. Those are pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's just do a quick file on this little toe here. Right, Doty? That doesn't look bad actually to me, but we'll just kind of take the edge off. Now you want to be careful not to file the bird's foot, of course, right? You know, you see I'm trying to keep that toe uh, away from the nail, away from the others, because I don't want to give her some kind of an abrasion. You want to bite it or you want to run? Come here. Uh, we'll just take a little bit off. You know, and you see I've got my, my, uh, my ring finger. I'm kind of holding her other feet away from that. I think that's about it. So you can see here, um, she did pretty good. And uh, one of these days I might put out a little more thorough video on some other factors too. But uh, this is just on how to trim your bird's nails. Again, a lot of birds are going to fight you. So, you know, it, it, normally I would suggest if you want to try it um, and you can handle the bird, go in an enclosed place like your bathroom. And, you know, if you have a, a shower curtain or a tub door, maybe, um, you know, maybe a... Uh, uh, go ahead and close that so they really and, and shut the toilet lid and and have an enclosed area so they can't fly too much and just see how they react and again you know go real slow and and if they start to fight you like I, you know i've got pretty good control over her but if they really start to resist um you know maybe back off a little bit or go slow or just kind of reassure them it's okay see it's okay Dodie. and uh most of you already know this but when you do pet a parrot uh or any bird you want to keep it above the neck, right? I see a lot of people, they want to stroke their, their back. And what that generally tells the bird is that you want birdie babies, which I assume you don't and anyway, but they, they do bond to somebody if you're not careful. But so she's nice and relaxed and I'm going to bring her over to say bye to you. And that basically, say bye Dodie. You want to say bye bye to everybody? That basically is how you trim their nails. So her nails are pretty good now. I didn't do a really thorough job. But um, at least they're not going to be, you know, poking me and she's going to be able to move around. So uh, I think I probably will post this to YouTube. So if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the remarks section. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching Dodie get her little pedicure. So with that, I will close. Bye-bye.